we will have fun together, won't we? Yes, we will, dear. Oh, Mrs. Grosh, she's here, she's here. And she isn't afraid of reptiles. Oh, and that's more than can be said of me, isn't it? <laughs> I walked from the gate. I, I wanted to see it all. <laughs> I'm glad to see you, Miss Giddens. Really, I'm glad. Oh, do please come in. Thank you, you're very kind. Now, I expect you'd like a cup of tea. Thank you. Well, but not you, Miss Flora. Now, you know you're not allowed in the house with that toad or turtle or whatever it is. Go on, run along, off you go. All oh, right. I had no idea. I never imagined. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's all right, Miss. It's always happening. I never imagined it would be so beautiful. Well, we do our best. Though half the rooms are empty now. Locked and empty. All the same, it's too big. A job to keep clean. But what I always say is it's a heaven for children. Oh, yes, a heaven. And what an enchanting child she is. <laughs> There's not another like her. <laughs> Though, mind you, she has her ways. You have your work cut out. I don't doubt. But she seems... Well, she certainly looks angelic. Well, she is, too, but she does like to wander, to go off by herself. We're always hunting her. Oh, yes. I heard you. Just now, as I was coming through the garden, I heard you call her name. Oh, not me, miss. Perhaps it was Anna or Cook. Well, someone. Sit down, miss, and have your tea. Mm, it'll be dark in here soon. I'll get Anna to bring some lamps. Has she gone? Yes, for the moment. You don't mind Rupert sharing a bit of your cake now? Do you watch you? out. He'll grow too fat to fit your pocket. I have a pony too. Oh. He isn't really mine. He belongs to Miles. Miles is my brother, you know. He's away at school. You must miss him very much. Well, he'll be coming home soon. Not, I should think, until the holidays. Time you went upstairs and got ready for your bath, Miss Flora. Promise now. You won't go away. I expect to be here for a very long time. And to think what qualms I had. I was so afraid. Afraid, Miss? I couldn't make up my mind. Should I accept this post or shouldn't I? Well, Miss, I'm sure I'm very glad you did. Well, after all, I didn't have much choice. Their uncle is most persuasive. <laughs> oh, and don't I know it. Many's the time he's worked his magic on me. Even when he was a boy, he could twist you around his finger, and the children are the same way. He doesn't come down here very often. Oh, well, he likes the town life. He always was a very popular gentleman, and what's the good of being popular down here with only the children and the pigeons and me? Mrs. Gross? Yes, miss? What was she like? Who, miss? The other governess, the one who died. Oh, Miss Jessel? Oh, she was a young woman. Some thought her pretty, and I, well, I suppose she was, but not as pretty as you, miss. Not by half. He seems to prefer them, young and pretty. Oh, dear, he had the devil's own eye. I mean, that's his way, the master's. But of whom did you speak first? Why, the master, of course. There's nobody else, miss. Nobody at all. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, oh, dear, you such Miss Gillis. Is the other one just as remarkable? I mean, is he too as enchanting? Oh, well, if you like this one, Miss, you'll be quite carried away by Master Miles. Master! <laughs> I seem to be carried away quite easily. That's what happened to me in London. <laughs> Miles is coming! Miles is coming! Stuff and nonsense, Miss. You know very well Miles is at school. Now, hold still! <laughs> <laughs> I've got a little bed in your room. It's got curtains. How nice. <laughs> Mrs. Gross wanted to give you a big room, but I said she'll only be there when she's asleep, and big rooms get bigger at night. Do you know that? 
Do they? Mrs. Gross doesn't know. She shuts her eyes in the dark. <laughs> I think that's silly. I always look in the dark. Do you? And what do you see? There are a lot of empty rooms. I said to Mrs. Gross, I wish there was some way of sleeping in several rooms at once. Mrs. Gross was quite startled by the thought. I don't wonder. Nothing nonsense, she said. Nothing nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. Why can't Rupert sleep with me? Because you might roll over and crush him. Crush a tortoise? Now finish your prayers, dear. If I should wake before... If I should die before I wake, I pray the Lord my soul to take. Amen. Miss Giddens, mm -hmm. where would the Lord take my soul to? To heaven. Are you certain? Yes, of course, because you're a very, very good girl. But I might not be. And if I weren't, wouldn't the Lord just leave me here to walk around? Isn't that what happens to some people? <coughs> oh, whatever was that? <coughs> I'm sure something's been hurt. An animal. We must pretend we didn't hear it. That's what Mrs. Gross always says. Pretend? Then we won't imagine things. Well, sometimes one can't help imagining things. You, miss. Oh, thank you. Oh, please, can I help you read them? Yes, if you like. Which first? Now, how can I tell? Then I shall choose. Oh, thank you. Here. Now, this one's from my sister. Oh, look, dear, here's a picture of me and my family together. Am I in it? How could you be? It's of my family. This one. It's from London. Is it from my uncle? Yes, I think it is. You do look pleased. Is he coming to see us? No, dear. He's sent me a letter from Miles School. Didn't you say last night that Miles was coming home? Oh, look! The lovely spider, and it's eating a butterfly.
Mrs. Gross, here's a letter their uncle has forwarded without opening. It's from Miles' school. He just wrote on the envelope, I'm off to Italy for the summer. This is from Miles' headmaster. Deal with it without bothering me. Oh, that's just his way, miss. But how am I to deal with it? Miles has been dismissed from school. Dismissed? Sent home. Expelled. <laughs> what has he done? What do the gentlemen say? Oh, they go into no detail. They simply say... Here, read it. Read it for yourself. It's no good, miss. I, I never learned. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize. They say that it is impossible to keep him. Why? That he is an injury to the others. Master Miles? Him an injury? Oh, stuff and nonsense. You might as well think ill of Miss Flora, bless her. You've never known him to be bad? Oh, I wouldn't say that. You mean you like a boy with spirit? Well, so do I, but not to the degree to contaminate. To what? To corrupt. Master Miles. Oh, miss, are you afraid he'll corrupt you? <laughs> Miss Giddens, aren't you? Yes. How do you do? Oh, thank you, Miles. She's our new governess now, and she's awfully nice. I hope Miles will agree. Come. Come. <laughs> Holidays. Longing to see Bly and Mrs. Gross and Flora. And you. Flora wrote and told me you were coming. Did you have a good term at school? Look, Ma, there's the lake. Oh, it is nice to be back. I hope you won't be lonely. With just Flora and Mrs. Gross and me. Were you happy at school? May I tell you something? Yes, Miles, of course. I think you're far too pretty to be a governess. And I think you're far too young to be such a deceitful flatterer. <laughs> <laughs> 